Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's 3 2 2019, and I wanted to come on here this morning and talk about world on the brink of war. And I particularly want to talk about the conflict between India and Pakistan right now, and also all the talk we're hearing about Venezuela and the United States and invading that country to oust their uh, current leader, Maduro. Uh, those two things in particular, although there's a lot of talk of, of, of war and rumors of wars right now. Uh, on the thing of India and Pakistan, I saw uh, a video that was discussing the effects that, uh, I guess they have a few hundred nuclear weapons that are, are the size of uh, the weapons that were detonated in Hiroshima. And if a certain percentage of those weapons were detonated in, in a war between those two countries, that uh, within two weeks the smoke uh, would circulate around the earth and cover the whole earth from those detonations. And eventually the smoke would rise 20 to 50 miles above the surface and stay there for years. And this would cause crop loss and failures which would eventually, between the loss of crops and food shortages and starvation and the initial detonations in the countries, would uh, cause the loss of about one to two billion could die as a result of the war between India and Pakistan. And then in the situation in Venezuela, I saw where the U.S. Uh, was amassing troops in, on Puerto Rico and uh, I saw another photo in another video uh, thumbnail of uh, the troops amassed in the in Venezuela on the beach, uh, you know, facing towards Puerto Rico, anticipating uh, U.S. invasion, not unlike what happened in Grenada back when Reagan was president. And so they were expecting the U.S. to invade and, and try to oust Maduro that way. Uh, but I also heard that the U.S. was uh, going to get the Colombian army to oust Maduro. And then I saw a video that was ex uh, talking about an explosion there at the Colombian border. Somebody, they were throwing mol uh, Molotov cocktails and stuff around at the border there. And that uh, uh, Venezuela had sealed off the border there at Colombia. Uh, they're like sealing off the borders between their nation and the other countries that are surrounding them. Um, uh, then, uh, really, this is just another sign, you know, that's uh, re uh, recorded in Matthew 24 about wars and rumors of wars that we would be hearing about right before the Lord comes back again. So it's just more confirmation that we're running out of time. We're getting closer to the beginning of the tribulation period. And then with the peace plan coming up here and the announcement that this Jewish Messiah is going to be revealed on Purim, uh, you know, we could be, you know, and the, which could be the man of sin, then we could be looking at a possible rapture between now and that time. However, I did want to note that, you know, the peace plan full disclosure is not supposed to come out until around the time of the April elections there in Israel, and there's no guarantee that that plan is going to be accepted by everybody and that it's going to succeed. It's still a matter to be seen, and so um, everything is open as far as I can see, even though the signs are there that could be pointing to a possible begin, you know, for the man of sin to be revealed in Daniel 9 27 to come to pass. We're just going to have to wait and see how things unfold. And there's also, you know, I was also told by the Holy Spirit that this whole thing about with the Antichrist is more complicated than most people understand. And that uh, the only way somebody is going to understand it is to, uh, and, and understand uh, any secrets as to what's, how things are going to develop is going to be if the Holy Spirit reveals it to you because it's obviously going to be on the surface very confusing and not easy for uh, people to just figure out what's going to uh, happen and uh, in advance or, uh, you know, because all the bases have been covered or something. It's, there's going to be a lot of deception in regards to the subject of the Antichrist, and we'll cover that in future videos. Then the Lord also revealed to me um, 
the uh, uh, personal prophecy for the channel and also uh, for other channels as well. It, it won't just apply to this channel, but it, I don't think it's going to apply to a lot of channels. So we're going to be talking about a very small number of channels on YouTube. Uh, the Lord will be revealing the uh, secrets of the enemy uh, between now and the rapture. And he gave me some scriptures to, to read to you in regards to that. And the first one is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33 and verse 3. Call unto me and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 18. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it and I know, I know it. Then thou showest me their doings. And then in other uh, translations that we're doing from the King James Version. Uh, they translated into plots or plans. So uh, thou showest me their plots and plans. And that's what he intends to do between now and the rapture on some, a very small number of YouTube channels where the, the people are truly chosen, called and anointed and full of the Holy Spirit. And uh, where you're going to be hearing the, the truth and only the truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, and he also gave me in regards to this Amos uh, chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord hath spoken, who can but prophesy? Who, who can really truly prophesy true prophecy except the prophet that's truly called by the Lord? Or the watchman that's truly called. That's the only place that you're going to hear the truth here on YouTube. On ministry channels. Uh, and lastly, uh, to mention the super soldier Sir, uh, Syrian rebels. Um, and uh, I saw, I watched a clip by uh, showing Dr. Bashar uh, Jafari, which is the Syrian ambassador to the UN speak about genetically modified rebel soldiers that are being placed in Syria. Uh, and he's saying that they are larger than the common Arab males. And uh, the, the main concern and issue that the Lord wanted me to bring uh, forth in the, uh, on that story was the, uh, you know, the Christians are being slaughtered by these ISIS soldiers. So, we need to uh, research that. Uh, everyone who is a Holy Spirit filled uh, uh, person that has accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior should be uh, looking into things like that and maybe researching and focusing things on that instead of hear hearing about the indictments and the, uh, you know, some of the fake news that's on here and, and it's, that's meant to distract us from these stories here. Because also these super soldiers are supposedly been reported uh, here in different states uh, around in the United States as well. And so uh, I think that's something that people should look into and research. And uh, also in regards to those sorts of things, uh, just that uh, uh, seeing a, a video about Trump pushing the biometric ID uh, chip implant system here in the United States, they're going to implement it. It's been, he's publicly announced it. But the amazing thing and co uh, seemingly, I don't know, we know not coincidental thing, is inside building 666 that uh, Jared Kushner bought is uh, was Lucent Technologies making the RFID biometric chip implants. And then uh, the other thing that the Holy Spirit brought to my attention to mention in the video was um, the reported uh, news things on some channels that Kushner received funding from George Soros. Uh, think about it. I thought it has been stated that he was part of the deep state. And I thought that uh, Soros as part of the deep state was against Donald Trump and against making America great again. So it uh, it seems like, I mean, uh, 
that kind of stuff is questionable. And that's the kind of stuff that we ought to be focusing on. And then also getting close to the Lord, of course, praying every single day and seeking him uh, diligently, because he said, if you seek him diligently, uh, you know, then he's the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So if you want answered prayers and you want to possibly be blessed by the Lord, then you need to seek him uh, diligently if you're uh, you're in him and you've accepted him as Lord and Savior and you're uh, Holy Spirit filled. Uh, you need to be seeking him diligently right now. And lastly, I just want to say as always uh, that uh, uh, I'm quoting John uh, 832 and that's what this channel stands for. And he told me that in the year of 2019 that I had a mountain full of messages to deliver to the people. And like I say, some of these things are going to be uh, secret plots and stuff of the enemy. And obviously that's why we have spiritual warfare. Some people that are doing these channels is because the enemy don't want their plots and strategies revealed, obviously. And uh, he knows that that's going to happen. And obviously he would be worried about it and want to stop it. Um, John 8.32 is uh, the scripture that, you know, one of the scriptures this channel stands for. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. On this channel, you're going to hear the truth, only the truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, not fake news. Uh, the fake news, there's a reason for it and a, a strategy behind it. And that's to distract the, uh, the born-again believer from focusing on the things that really need to be focused on. And uh, that's why he says in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I also will reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. This is talking about the person that's supposedly called, but some of them are not called. They, they, they're pretending like they're priests to him. Uh, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of God, I will also forget thy children. So Hosea 4, 6, there's obviously false teachers and people that are falsely claiming to be called. Uh, God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, thank you for your subscriptions to the channel. And always, as always, thank you for your comments. And even though you may not uh, always comment and agree with everything that's being on the channel, uh, you know, I'm uh, open to listening to some of the people's arguments and stuff when they come on and, 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 and dispute something that's being said, provided that, you know, it's done out of love and there's no rudeness and, and evil, nasty remarks given. I'm willing to hear, hear anyone out that wants to comment. Uh, I'll see you on the next upload.